This short analysis will assume you have experienced the entirety of Amori and may fully spoil the game. As such, it will also feature some of the themes of Amori, suicide, depression, and grief, as well as child abuse. If you are sensitive to these topics, it may not be safe to continue watching. Furthermore, this video is only a small snippet of a much larger Amori analysis and review video, which will be linked in the description. If you like this video, then please consider checking out the rest of the analysis. Aubrey is perhaps my favorite character in the game. In Headspace, she's fun, spunky, and has an attitude that was never annoying to me, but instead was incredibly endearing. In Far Away Town, all of those traits that were cute when she was a kid evolved into their natural conclusion. She's not just a bad bitch who isn't taking anyone's shit, she's a bully. Her tendency to swing around a bat has turned into being confrontational and outwardly violent towards others. As a child, she was upbeat and cheery. That's why she specializes in the happy emotion within Headspace. However, none of that past spark is there. Aubrey is pessimistic, even self-deprecating in the way she laughs about horrible situations. It would seem that the apparent suicide of Mari had a tremendous effect on her outlook on life. She has become cynical. Not only that, but she feels abandoned by everyone around her. Aside from being cut off from Sunny, Cal, Hero, and Basil, which she plainly states within the game, Aubrey is also clearly the product of abusive parenting. Stepping into her house later in the game was honestly sort of terrifying. Literal trash thrown about everywhere as her mother blankly stares at the TV, a droning white noise making its way into your very mind. It can be inferred that the mom is this way because Aubrey's father has left the home, which is outright stated in the church. However, why would the father even leave in the first place? This is pure speculation, but I believe there is reason to think that Aubrey's father may have abused both her and her mother. Firstly, unlike Sonny's parents, there is no clear reason why Aubrey's father left in the first place. Simple divorce seems unlikely, as it is indicated that he is not in her life at all. When you are transversing memory lane as Sonny and come across the memory of being outside with Kel and Aubrey in the rain, she makes a remark regarding her and Mari wanting to dye their hair pink and purple respectively. While this is a very adorable example of their healthy relationship, and also brought tears to my eyes when I saw Mari has purple highlights in the postcard for the latest Amori merch drop, it also should be obvious that Aubrey did indeed dye her hair pink later in life. During that flashback, she states that it was because her father was strict about those kind of things. An already slightly alarming remark in its own right, which seems to indicate that since she did dye her hair, her father not only does not live with her, but he likely no longer has any parental control over her life. Again, this is all speculation, and some of it is even baseless. But it should be clear why Aubrey is the way she is when we see her in Far Away Town. However, she still has so much love in her heart. When she finally comes around and the group accepts her back in, we see that she is not only surprisingly mature and level-headed, but just wants others to be happy. Just like Aubrey in the dream world. Fundamentally, she is the same person. Just broken, scared, and alone. And yet, she is the one who tells Sunny that he deserves to be happy that she hopes that he can finally find peace, even if she herself hasn't. She is kind.